Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fractal Bitcoin. We're back. Uh, This show is all about your future prosperity. We talk about Bitcoin. We talk about the collapse of the U.S. dollar. But really, it's about your prosperity. Uh, Okay, so about my video last week, uh, I'm going to comment at the end of this video about it. Let's get into some Bitcoin news real quick. And first is, yeah, HODL. Q4 is very bullish. Yeah. You know what that means? That means hold, don't sell, but this is not financial advice, but don't sell and just hold because the October, November, December, fourth quarter are going to be very, very bullish. We're seeing it already. Here's the price right now above 69,000. So look at this. We seem to be putting in a a local low right here. That's higher than the previous one, which is higher than the previous one, which is higher than the previous one. This is a very promising trend. We've already broken out of this little, or this huge bull flag. Very bullish. Yeah, the parabolic advance is incoming. The time has come. Yeah, this shows you all the previous cycles, and we're right there. We're right ready to go. Uh, I'm psyched for it. I'm going to be doing the show slightly differently. I'll talk about it at the end, uh, as I mentioned. But yeah, here's the diamond continuation pattern. You know, this is uh, local here. This is in the past couple weeks. We've made this little diamond, which also signals that we're going to go higher. So it's happening. All right, now in some bullish news. Look at this, breaking news. Russia's sovereign wealth fund is investing in Bitcoin mining infrastructure throughout BRICS nations with the idea of settling global trade in Bitcoin. Yeah, and I I just saw another headline that said that uh, the BRICS countries... They just had a big meeting and they they came out and said, oh, we're not going to start our own currency. We're going to use this basket of other currencies or something. I don't even know. But now there's this breaking news. Look, this is what the BRICS nations should do. This is what every nation should do. Sorry, I had to crack my shoulder. Uh, they sh- Every nation should operate on a Bitcoin standard and, and trade in Bitcoin. It's the best system. And so if BRICS is really doing this, this is huge. This is insane. Yeah, and by the way, just in, Argentina, the UAE, and Ethiopia are mining Bitcoin with government resources. Yeah, no, nah, Bitcoin's just a fad, though. It's probably nothing. <laughs> I mean, global adoption is literally happening before our eyes. It's beautiful. And here, this is, I just had to show you this, because the, the newbie who doesn't know anything, buy the market and do nothing. The expert or the or the the Bitcoiner who's been in Bitcoin for a while, they've been through at least one cycle. Buy the market and do nothing. But the person in the middle, when they gain a little bit of knowledge and they think they're smart and they do all these charts and blah blah blah, they try to trade it. Uh, look at the consternation and the tears coming down this person's face. Yeah, so look. Buy the market and do nothing. Look, this is one of the greatest things about Bitcoin. This is the only reason I can do well with Bitcoin. No, I mean, I'm I'm doing well in terms of uh, I haven't sold any. <laughs> Not that I have that much, but look, if I had to trade Bitcoin, if I had to study charts and take risks and and you know try to catch a catch a rise or sell before a fall, like. I couldn't do it. And as you know, or you might not know, most day traders get wrecked. People who try to day trade the stock market, they're like, oh, I'm going to make a living. I'm just going to sit at my computer and buy and sell all day long. And I'm just going to make money. That's going to be my job. Yeah, no, 99% of them get wrecked because it's not easy. It's very difficult. So this is the beauty of Bitcoin for the lay person like me. Maybe you're a lay person too. Buy the market and do nothing. It's beautiful. Let Bitcoin do its thing. Oh, it's so good. All right, subscribe to the channel while you're thinking about it, if you'd like to. And let's get into some US dollar slash government nonsense. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of that these days because Bitcoin solves these issues. Uh, Now I'm going to... Well, anyway, let's just do it. Voter ID laws are a threat to democracy. Be honest. And they're racist. Be honest. I want illegals to vote 
to help us win. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is literally what the government's doing. They're importing illegals and they're shipping them to the states where they need more votes. Literally. They're not hiding it. We can all see it. But this is the corruption of government. And yeah, can I see your ID? No, sir, I'm voting today. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Why do you not need ID to vote? That's the most retarded thing I've ever heard. And guess why? I know the answer. You know the answer. Because they're, 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 it's a corrupt election. That's a way that they can do all their corrupt shenanigans and steal elections. Election fraud. That's what it's for. That's why they don't, they don't want people to show ID. Because the politicians and the parties, they want to be able to change things and put in votes and all that. Probably take out votes too. Who knows? Yeah, this is just crazy. Yeah, and here is if FEMA was a toilet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, any government agency is horrible. That's why this talk of uh, uh, Elon talking about, you know, uh, getting into the government and sort of cutting the size of the government is just awesome. And and also, you know, Trump is hinting at, oh, you know, no, no federal income tax. Anyway, everything the government does is bad. All right, now here is a cyberspace meta protocol built on Noster. It's called Ono Sendai. It's made by our good friend of the show, Arcanox, who was very gracious enough last week after my, uh, what would you call that video? It wasn't a meltdown. It was a, I'm tired. <laughs> That's what it was. I'm tired. Uh, anyway, he made a gracious donation. So thank you, Arcanox. I really appreciate you, man. And uh, but yeah, this is his his Noster client. So check it out. Here's the here's the website. Uh, yeah, just check it out. I just wanted to give a quick shout out for that. The link will be below as as with everything. So yeah, don't you love it when someone puts down their phone and just lives in the moment? <laughs> I mean, reality's tough, right? Reality is really tough. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I asked my grandpa, who's a retired homicide detective, to babysit tonight. I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. All right. So now let's uh, let me just talk real quick about the show. First of all, I made the video last Wednesday saying how I'm tired after 10 months. I, you know, I don't get much. I get like five comments on each video from five of you legends who I know who you are and thank you. I appreciate you so much. You guys are the hardcore OGs of Fractal Bitcoin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and I'm like, okay, I'm doing a video every day. Five people are commenting. I'm making no money. And I'm tired after 10 months, right? 10 months of doing a show. I was not expecting more than 50 people to comment on that video and say, hey, Chris, we love your show. Keep going. I was floored that day. And it was a weird day of mixed emotions because on one hand, like I'm tired and the show's not getting any traction. And I mean, I have to make a living at some point, right? I have to earn something at some point. But then on the other side was like, oh my God, all these people are telling me, no, you can't stop. And I'm like, thank you. Like, thank you for coming out of the woodwork. And apparently some of you have been watching for a while uh, but you never really commented. That's okay. Uh, but anyway, I'm glad I made the video. I'm glad you guys got to come out and let me know how you really feel about the show uh, because I appreciate that. So I spent, you know, the rest of last week and the weekend thinking about what I want to do. And I am going to continue the show. I'm going to do it every day. The videos are probably going to be a little shorter and I'll probably cover less stories, but it'll be a little shorter, a little more punchy. And I'm going to create the videos in much less time. I was spending about five hours a day making the video uh, because I was doing a lot of research and all that. Uh, so I'm going to cut my production time down a lot and that'll help me with my, you know, mental state of, of, uh, of not putting in a zillion hours and getting paid very little. So, uh, and the other thing I did over the weekend was I set up ways that you guys can support 
the channel. So I'll show you that in a second, but I just, I really want to say thank you. I really, I really love doing this show because it's important for you and I going forward to manage our finances properly because the US dollar is collapsing and Bitcoin is our only hope. And during the next five or 10 years, or even the next one year or five years, you and I have to navigate this thing properly. If we don't navigate it properly, we're going to end up the losers. I don't want you to end up a loser. I don't want to be a loser. So that's why we're studying Bitcoin. We're learning about Bitcoin and we're studying the collapse of the US dollar. And we're making sure that in the new world that is emerging, that you and I are set up and we can be prosperous, right? That's the entire purpose of this show. That's it. Yes, Bitcoin's a big part of it, but really the, the future prosperity is the thing. And I also want to give a big shout out to my friend Bob, who he called me last week just to check if I was okay. So Bob, thank you. I appreciate you, man. Uh, me and Bob have written some songs together. We're both here in the same town, so uh, we're going to continue writing songs uh, to some degree, but Bob, thank you. I really appreciate that. Like, you don't know how much just a phone call from a friend, one phone call can just change everything. So anyway, uh, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And just so you know, on the website, this is fractalbitcoin.com. I have a donate tab up here and I set up a donate tab so you can actually donate to the show. You can use Bitcoin you can use Lightning or on-chain Bitcoin, so you can zap me some Satoshis or on-chain, or you can actually use a credit card. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I don't, you know, if you guys could support me, that'd be great because it really does help a lot. So, so that's it. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, and Barry's here too. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, and by the way, I asked Barry, Last week, I'm like, Barry, what are we going to need? to? You remember I asked you this, Barry? I, I said, Barry, what are we going to need to really make the show a success and really and feel good about doing it every day? And, and, and Barry, what, what was your exact response? You're going to need a couple of horses or a couple of mules. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.